writing down notes? <laughs> Hit the whistle once. That always gets you in a good spot. <whistles> ah, a little too much. My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. And this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake hunted lobsters last week. I was asked to kill a fly by my wife, and I did. We both captured the beast. Jim, what a week it was. Hudson Valley Renegades rolled out for us. We both threw out first pitches. Do it again. Three, two, one. Whoosh. Still sore. Still very sore. Still sore. Uh, we had a good time. Thank you, guys. But I'm kind of over this studio. It's August now. August. I'm sick of being less frames per second than you. Let's get so out we're out. Here. We're out of the studio. Grab your belongings. Weekly dumb in this studio is no more. Do finding you want the a hand? new home. We're finding a. We're finding a new home. Yeah, I need the hand, obviously. Pipe. Um. Yeah, bring the pipe. Oh boy! <laughs> and boy! Drop everything. Let's do it right here. This is the new weekly dumb oh, setup. Oh, welcome to the weekly thumb. Jake, can you tell us a little bit about the sports? It's just too comfy. Let's get out of I here. I fall asleep. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Ooh, this is wildly uncomfortable. I think we gotta ditch the whole the whole Let's room. Let's get out of this place. If it's the last thing I ever do, you guys are. Just right. This will do. Wow. Jake, now can you tell us about the sports? James, we built this city and this company on rock and roll and baseball, and we haven't even talked trade deadline yet. Crazy trade, de trade deadline. Best trade deadline in baseball history, and we're still talking about it, and a lot of the big names did well for the new teams. The Cubs. All the Cubs hit home runs. Sad. What did Trevor Plouche tweet say? It said, uh, mercenary. Baseball, so hot in the streets. Uh, so the Dodgers did well. Our Yanks did well, Jimmy. People are talking. Uh, and my Rockies did nothing. did nothing to escape their own ineptitude. The, <laughs> if, if anyone's unaware, if you don't follow, the Rockies made a trade that got a lot of backlash last uh, offseason. So the GM, interim GM, said, we, we don't want to get a lot of backlash again and make a bad trade. So they just didn't trade him. He's a free agent at the end of the season, so they're going to get nothing in return. They're going to get, like, a draft pick in return. So I'm glad you that know, they just escaped embarrassment. Good job by the Rockies. Bottom nine, they were down two runs, and they said, you know, instead of us trying to come back and rally. Last time we tried to come back, we lost. It was embarrassing. Let's just, we'll just forfeit. You guys win. We'll just forfeit. You've won. It's good job, Rockies. Good job, baseball. Hot in the streets last week. Baseball's hot in the streets. Rockies are bad. Jimmy. Can we talk about this almost a breakdown everyone's talking about? One of the oddest almost a breakdowns you'll see. Wait. Oh. Every morning, I drink my coffee, <laughs> then I go take a shit, and then I read the morning brew morning while brew. I'm pooping. Monkeys. Monkeys everywhere. What country is this in? I don't know. This That's video. Thailand. This video of these monkeys just fighting each other in the middle of the streets in Thailand. Traffic has to stop. People have to divert themselves. And according to the text on the screen that I'm choosing to believe wholeheartedly, it was three different monkey groups that had beef. Usually, they fight over food. This wasn't over food. And, I mean, this is straight out of... A movie. The Capulet and the Monkey Goose. Don't ever send me to this part of the country or world. Okay. But there was no monkey just hanging around on the street afterwards. There they go. What did you just say? <laughs> they had to go. Oh, okay. I didn't hear it. it sounded like da go. They had to go. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm being bad. I feel like I'm doing a bad job today. Zach edits this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> that.
Let's get out of the monkey news and go back to more sports. More sports. Jim, we have a follow-up story. We love follow-up stories. The yeah. audience loves a good follow-up story. Call back. We're going back to the Cleveland Guardians. We mentioned there was a roller derby team that they didn't care. Guess what, Jim? They do care. They're filing a trademark application, which, uh, yeah, I mean, they're right on time. But MLB filed their application on the July 23rd. All right. The roller derby followed on July 27th, so I have a feeling they're not going to win, and they're not going to. They're going to get some money, but not a lot. A lawyer approached them and said, well, "You could get a little bit of money." I wonder how much they can actually get, because if you're the guardian, if you're the in guardy, if you're the baseball team, okay, you've put in a lot of time to do this, and their lawyer said this won't be a problem, and now it's a fake problem. But is it a real problem? So I don't know. Throw them some coin. Let them do roller derby at the stadium. Bully them, make them change their name to the Indians. Jim, can you tell us about the not sports? And we actually got a treat for the people today. Yeah, there's so many good not sports stories that we're asking you. What would you like? We'll just do real quick all three of them. First one is that this dude in Louisiana created trailer uh, a trailer park for swingers. Their logo is bring your house and share your spouse. I'm shocked this doesn't exist already. Well, it does. It's every trailer park. Uh, they've just decided to make a banner, which is a big step for us in the swinger community. Memorial Weekend 2022 is the grand opening. That's huge. Why is it so far away? <laughs> what are they setting you up? You got a plan. What are they prepping for? Sex. Five profane parrots separated the British Zoo after encouraging each other to curse out guests. Fuck off. <laughs> See, I think a lot of public are going to like this. I don't like it. I don't like birds. Birds are assholes. This is more proof. And I also think there's just a trainer out there that like taught them how to do that. And now the birds are getting in trouble when like, right. you know, if my dog constantly shits on your feet, it seems in the end, like I taught my dog to shit on your feet, but don't get, don't yell at my dog. He's just doing what he was trained to do. I don't think that's a direct correlation, but I like it. Yeah, no, there's definitely someone that works at the zoo. Jim, there's one last one that we didn't know if the people would like or not. Oh, well. You'll get there. Florida man washes ashore after trying to walk to New York in a bubble device. The bubble device is hilarious. Yeah. And he had supplies for a while and he was trying to walk north to New York from Florida, but he ended up going 30 miles south. Mm. And then he just walked to shore, came out of the device, and he said everyone on the beach was laughing at him. And he said, they're laughing. They're taking pictures of me. I know what I'm doing. I'm not dumb. You might not be dumb, man, but you're way too bored for your own good. Whenever you got to hit him with a, I am not dumb, that's a tough sign. Uh, I do like that. Uh, Weekly dumb. This is an impressive makeshift go wagon. How many times has this guy been divorced? <laughs> <laughs> Three? Three times? Yes. <laughs> so you guys tell us. We didn't know if you'd like the bubble walking story or if you'd like the parrots talking ship or if you'd like the trailer park swinger. So yeah, what do you like? Leave that in the comments. What do you like? We'll Sex, dumb humans, or birds? So like the first... Three people that leave it and just like those, and we'll then we'll base the show on that forever. Yes, that brings us to it's the, the employee, employee of the week. week. It's the employee of the week. week. It's it's a employee and the week. It's the weakest week. employee week. at the company. It's week. a person that's not strong. Who's getting it? Are you in on this? I don't have it. <laughs> Who is it? We've got Commissioner Prizeman. Oh, We've wow. kind of been putting him through the ringer right lately. We've given him almost sun poisoning twice. Yep. Uh, so that's good. And Back Alley Bats has been killing it. So, yeah. Commissioner Go check Tom. out Bally, Back Alley Bats, Commissioner Prizeman. Um, he didn't lose track of a count. He umped a really good game while you we were rarely, in Hudson Valley. rarely see the umpire commissioner. That's a risky <laughs> umpire, position. Well, I don't think he's commissioner position. of the Homer draft. I don't think he's commissioner of Back Alley Bats. He's umpire. Yeah, editor. that's true. He's an umpire okay. editor. But well, congrats to Tom. He did get really congrats burnt. To Tom. Excited to see him. Employee of the month of July, Zach. Congrats, Zach, for the month of July. That was a weekly dumb. Support for this show was brought to you by the Morning Brew. Morning Brew is great because it's kind of like the Weekly Dumb, but every day and not dumb. It's totally free. A daily newspaper delivered Monday through Sunday it gets you up to speed on business, finance, and tech in just five minutes. Traditional news is dry, dense, like Jake, and boring. 
not like Jake. You're not boring. Morning Brew is witty, like Jake. Relevant, like Jake. Informative, not like Jake. You don't want relevant? I don't think so. So you'll take... Kind of dated. You'll take dense and witty? Yes. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Emphasis. Uh, Morning Brew is completely free, so there's no reason not to sign up if you're interested in business, finance, or tech. Completely free takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. Click the link in the description to subscribe to Morning Brew today. Play this on loop. Good ASMR. You want to play that cherry sound? Yeah. On loop. Turn it up for one more paper rip. I think we got the paper rip. Alexa, play talking baseball. People always say that works. They always say that their Alexa does stuff.